Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. And today I am going to have a bit of a play with the uh, November freebie, which is um, created by the ladies at Witchcraft Do You Do and is available over at the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group. Um, every month the ladies produce a freebie for the Facebook group and this month we have received... Um, yeah, vintage document style freebies. This, I've I've worked a little bit in advance and I've cut them out, but these two come in one page like that and then you receive your elements page as well. Um, I'm currently creating a tall skinny journal and I wanted something on the cover. So I think that my thought is um, to make pockets and then to flip them from the cover. So... We'll get on and do some decorating. Um, as I said, I've cut mine out. Carrie has made a really good video um, showing her way of, of uh, working with these elements. So I will link that below. But I'm just going to make some pockets. Um, I have worked ahead a bit, as I said, and I've, I've printed this the element sheet twice. So I've got some elements all ready to go here. So I'm, I'm just going to sort of um, decorate um with kind of a travel theme if you will so i've got the two pockets so we'll work on this one first and i'll put that to the side because i may need some more elements so i've taken the larger ones this one here is like a theater ticket or or like a billboard style advertisement with all different events that are happening this one here um, is a transport um ticket and this one here is another transport ticket. So I like all of those. And I thought I might sort of do something like make a bit of a, a bit of a layer up of tickets on that side. And then over on this side, I found this um, old film strip in um, some photographs that we found at Mum's. And I love that. Um, I've also got the, the, the two strips of vintage photos that come in the sheet. There is a membership card for a debating club. Um, this really old, like, vintage receipt from 1884. And I have double-sided when I've printed this page. So they've both, so they've all got that old um, weathered look on the back. And you also get a, a, a heap of stamps and then a couple of signatures. I think that's everything. So, yeah, so I'm going to put those on that one. And on this side here, I'm thinking I might cut a photograph or just something like that and just build up a little bit of um, a little bit of collage sort of thing. So, yes, and how is everyone? It's Sunday today. It's beautiful and peaceful at the moment. My husband's gone for a bike ride. So that's given me an opportunity to get creating. So I'm thinking I might put something there like that. And then I like these signatures. So I will cut a signature. And I'm just going to sort of layer them sort of up against each other like that. Um, now, I'm also going to cut into this one here. And even though I've already got it there, I really like this ticket that I'm going to sort of cut apart a bit. I'll just roughly cut that out and then I'm thinking I'm just going to cut this middle section here I always use that for something else and I'm just going to sort of kind of layer that in behind like that sort of thing I think and then I would like to put a stamp also on this one so we've got area some area down here for a stamp so I might go for the blue one and we'll just sort of put that down there so I like that kind of arrangement so I'm just going to grab some ink and ink up some of these little labels before I stick them down. I'm 
just to give them that really old world look. And then I'm just going to simply glue them down. Just clean off my glue a bit. Hopefully that will, will play. Play with me this morning. Alright, so I wanted this one around about here. Like that, and I'll put the photograph sort of there, or maybe a bit. I like things on the side kind of thing. So you put that there, and then I love this signature, so I'll put that over the top there. Like about there. And then I want my stamp down here. Just about there for no particular reason. And now I want to do some stamping. So I'm going to grab, I've just got my Tim Holt stamp set. Um, what is this one called? Field Notes. So I'm going to use that stamp and I'm just going to stamp that in black. And I'm going to just randomly stamp that straight over the top. I'm just going to give it a real push down because there's a few layers there for it to stamp on. Just that sort of thing. And I am going to use, where's that one? Um, there's a little stamp that says filed. There it is there. So I'm going to use that. And I love this one stamped in red. So I've just got some Distress Oxide red um, fired bricks. So I'm just going to basically, just again for no, no reason, just kind of put that there. Just like that. And then for this front part here, for this um, layered stack of these tickets, um, because it's a bit of a travel theme, there is a, st a stamp here, Destination. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to use the red again. And I am going to stamp that across this ticket here. Just about like there. Oh, that's cool. I love that. And now I'm just going to sort of do a bit of a, um, just layer these up a bit of a stack like that sort of thing. Just to make them look a bit staggered. And I am going to um, attach those to the front cover of what will be my pocket with an eyelet, I think. So I will grab an eyelet. And I'm just going to set that in real quick. Right, so there's number one. So that'll be on the front. And with the eyelet, then that gives you the um, ability to move the tickets to however you like them. It is a little stiff, but yeah, just fiddle with them. So that will be the front and that will be the back of my first pocket. I'm just going to ink around the pocket. And I have just machine stitched it just because I like that sort of sewing element. Do the same on the back. All right, so that's number one pocket. I'm not going to seal it up just yet. So that's number one, the front and the back. And now we'll go over to number two. Now, what would I like to do on this one? Again, I'm just going to use some elements um again just layering up 
and I would like to use this bit of film strip as well on this one sort of I love that number poking up a bit and maybe yeah I don't even mind the two photographs I'm not just trim those down a bit like that sort of thing um, now let me have a little look I've got other elements as well from different uh, witchcraft do you do kits um, and I did have sort of picked out there was let me find it it's not from the freebie but it's one from another kit that I sort of had earmarked I like that um, and there's all the numbers and stuff as well that I love. I like that for a bit of red. I can't find that one that I actually had <laughs> picked out to use. I'll find it when I've chosen something else, I bet you. It's not amongst there. Ah, oh, there it is there. So I like sort of those combinations and I do want to stamp and I want those together like that sort of there. So I am going to on this side over here um, or should I start here? So I'm sort of thinking something like that. I've got my photographs. I really love this little label just for the just for red. So I might sort of just do something like that. Um, these are the names of the people that I think could work, so I might put that on there. Um, now I want to get a stamp to bring in some colour, and I might use this one this time. And I'm going to put something like that there. Um, I've got my photographs, so I sort of, I might just use this little bit of ticket that was left over. Like I said, for no particular reason, just to, um, yeah, give it some interest, layer it up a bit, something like that. Um, we've got the signature, or I've got some, some of these little numbers. Uh, these are from the identification cards, which was another freebie that, again, is, I believe, still available over at the Playing With Paper and Glue um, Facebook group. But that this one, the identification cards, that one is available over at Witchcraft Do You Do as well as a freebie. So I will link, I will link all of that below. See, I like that sort of thing. Um, and then maybe some hand stamping. So let's just get on and get these put down and then we'll see what else we can fiddle with. And also, um, don't forget if you're going over to Witchcraft Do You Do to look at any of their digital kits. Um, there's a, a multitude of freebie kits, but there's also other brilliant kits that I use in my videos. The ladies have given subscribers to my channel a 15% discount um, that is available on both their website and their Etsy store. So I'll link that below as well. I'll link that discount code before, below as well. All right, so let's just get some gluing happening. I'll we'll glue this one down first. And I'm just sort of going to, yeah, just off-centre it sort of thing. I've got this, this stamp. Put that down. Sort of, again, just offset it a bit, kind of, sort of like that. And this tiny, tiny little label. I just love how every... Oh, stuck that all over my finger. I just love how all of these kits work together. Everything just works together. All right. <laughs> this one's a fiddly one. So I'm just going to put that sort of there like that. 
Um, and then these here. Let's put that one down first. Oh, I didn't even ink those. Or did I? Oh, yeah, I did. I think. Right, so I'll put that one there. Which is, again, a piece from the identification kit. And a little label. And I just really love that red. So I'm going to do that. All right, so now I'm going to bring in these two. And I'll ink around these. And ink around this one. Okay, so I've got my film strip and I kind of just want to sort of off-center that a bit like that. I want that number poking up. And I just really love that. So I'm going to attach that to my paper bag, or to my pocket rather, just with a stapler. So I'm just going to ink around my pocket first. Just to grunge it right up. Make it look very old as old as I can with ink <laughs> all right so now I'm just gonna have a look at that again so I want my film strip I love that number so I want that sitting above it a bit and those two I'm just gonna sort of put there so I'm simply going to staple that just like that and then this name I'm actually going to just put it down the bottom edge of that film strip instead. Just like that. Kind of thing. All right, and then I just want to do a little bit of stamping again on this one. So I'm going to use this one from the Tim Holtz, the received stamp. And I'm going to do, oh, I wanted to do it in black. Okay, that's cool. We'll just stamp it off a bit somewhere and use the black. And I'm going to just go over the top of those like that. And I want to put something there as well. Um, oh, identification check. That could be cool. So I'll do that one in red. Just, oh, <laughs> I'm not having much luck today. Just kind of over there like that. Oh, that's cool. I love that. All right. Maybe I should just back away from the ink. Um, and this one here, I just want something else on there. Um, maybe that there. That one says Form 34. I like that. I'm going to do that in the red just to bring a little bit more red in over here. I'm going to put that straight there. Um, and that might do it, I think. All right. So, and then I've still got the check or the, the receipt to go into the pockets and I've still got some more photographs another oh, I've still got heaps left and then I've still got all of this one as well so now what I want to do is I want to attach these pockets to my front covers the front cover of my tall skinny journal so what I'm going to do for that now I haven't decorated my cover yet um, but that's not going to matter doing this project and I'm going to sort of hinge them um and i'm going to use a cotton um hinge so that's why i haven't closed the pockets up just yet so what i want to do is i'm going to lay my hinge inside the pocket and glue that down like 
like so and then just lay my hinge down to cover the glue making sure that I've still got a good amount of hinge on that side just give that a minute to dry and now I can actually close my pocket up so I will close my pocket up and I'm only going to glue it on the two sides because I want the top to remain open so I'm just going to glue down that fabric and down along the bottom there and just close that completely up on those sides and then we've still got a top part there all right so I'll give that a minute to dry while I do the other one so I've just got to rip another hinge from my material and I guess about an inch yeah, I might go a little bit bigger on this one. Yeah, about an inch, I would say, is a good a good width if you're doing a fabric hinge. Now I'll just pull some of these off, which I keep all of those for bits and pieces. All right, so we'll grab our second one and just doing exactly the same thing. I am just going to stick my hinge down in there. that and then I'll close that pocket up alrighty and we'll just close that one straight up as well Alright, now um, what I wanted to do with this is I've just got a little bit of um, um, waxed linen thread and I'm just going to put that through the eyelet. I should have probably done this before I closed my pocket up but that's okay, I can still do it. And I'm just going to just make that look like a little bunch of tags with a, with a tag high top part thingy okay now what I want to do on my cover now is I want to attach my pockets to my cover by sticking that down um, flipping it and putting sticking the hinge down on the inside and then I can come back around and uh, cover it over with some pattern paper if I wanted to all right so I've just got to work out which one I want I'm going to have them overlapping a bit, and I think I want the photographs out on my top piece like that. Oh, I really like that. And then they're both pockets that you can add more things to. So I am going to add, put this one on first. So I'm just going to kind of line up the pocket with the edge of my um, cover. And then I'm just going to put some glue down on the inside of my cover. About like that. And then fold my fabric tab over the glue. Like that. And then, yeah, once that's dried, um, you can. I'll cover it with some patterned paper and you won't see that hinge at all if you wanted to and this one here again I'm going to do the same thing I'm sort of going to just overlap it a little bit like that and I'll level it up again with the edge of my cover and put it on I might bring it up just a little bit higher so that those two hinges overlap a little bit How's that going to look? Yeah, about like that. Okay. And then I will just pop again some glue down as well. Like that. And flip this one over. That excess glue. All 
Right, so there you have it. That's my front cover. And then they simply just flip out like that. And then when they're all drew, are dry, I will cover, or when I've covered the pa um, the cover, <laughs> when I've covered the cover with some patterned paper or however I'm going to decorate, then I will come back through and I will sew down there with the machine so that that is in there nice and tight. But, yeah, just a really cute little way just to add some flips to uh, a journal cover. And then because they're a pocket, you can fill them full of um, bits and pieces of ephemera as well. Things that uh, will poke out and and look really interesting. Oh, that one. Just that sort of thing. So there you go. That's just my idea for playing with the um, November freebie from the ladies at Witchcraft Do You Do, which is available over at the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group. So I will put those links down below and um, yeah, definitely if you're not a member of the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group, jump on over and join um, a very lovely crafting community and heaps and heaps of um, inspiration over there. So definitely have a little look. Um, and don't forget that discount code too uh, for which uh, for witchcraft do you do both their website and their Etsy store 15% off all their digital kits and I'll put that code down below in the description box. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, yeah, have a little play. They're a fun little project to create. Um, enjoy your Sunday and I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye bye.